Hi and welcome to episode 2 of 852 Reboot Hong Kong. I'm in a very nice environment, uh, the Four Seasons, and I'm here with Rebecca Fannin, who is a media entrepreneur, an author of several books, including China Tech Titans, and a regular organizer of a conference for venture capitalists and startups called Silicon Dragon. So let's start the interview. Hi, Rebecca. Hey, Napoleon. So tell me, what uh, was the first thing that brought you to Hong Kong? Oh, well, you know, look, I, I came originally in 1994, uh, and I was editor of an international business magazine out of New York, and um, Hong Kong at that time was worried about the handover issues, and so I came over here to write about uh, what really made Hong Kong special, and I fell in love with the place, and I started coming here regularly as a journalist. Uh, so. Some 15 years later, I'm still coming here regularly as a journalist and an author now today too. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, you're a journalist, but you've become a, a media entrepreneur. Maybe explain to us a little bit more about what that is and how that started here in this great city. Oh, sure. Well, uh, look, I was at Red Herring Magazine as international editor in Silicon Valley during the dot-com boom. And then when uh, the dot-com bust happened, uh, like advertising just dried up. And with that, a lot of media publications too, uh, and media of, of all kinds, because technology advertising was supporting them. But so then uh, the same thing happened with venture capital, where uh, the venture capitalists started coming to uh, this region, China and India, and doing the kind of deals over here that they uh, thought would make sense. And so I just followed the venture capital money uh, from Silicon Valley to here in Hong Kong and Beijing and Shanghai and Bangalore and uh, started writing for some magazines here in the region. And um, I started interviewing a number of the entrepreneurs. And I got inspired by a number of them and I set up uh, Silicon Dragon as its own uh, media enterprise in 2010. Uh, and uh, it's been going strong for almost 10 years now. And you've uh, written, you were, your first book was about the kind of first set of dot-com entrepreneurs from China, including uh, Jack Ma. When was that and, and uh, where did that take you? It must have been quite an interesting journey to, to kick off with that. It was. Uh, I interviewed Jack Ma in 2006 in Hangzhou in his office then. And uh, Jack was uh, a nobody then, uh, and uh, but I was very happy to get the interview with him because I knew Alibaba was going places, and sure enough, it did. Uh, so a number of the other tech companies that I followed also uh, became tech titans, and now today there's this whole new crop of tech titans that have come up, uh, which I write about in my new book, Tech Titans of China. So I've just been following the story uh, all along as a journalist, and uh, now it seems like I've done a series of books, which I never intended to do, to do a series, but it ended up being a series because you had Silicon Dragon, and then Startup Asia, and then Tech Titans of China, and I'm still following the story today, which continues to be very, very interesting. So you, you've talked about Tech Titans of China. Where do you see the role of, of Hong Kong um, in the whole kind of network of technology and startups and VC? Because obviously we're, we're a heart of finance and yeah. there is a, a very budding uh, tech entrepreneurial kind of community here. Sure. How do you see that fitting in uh, to Greater China or on a global scale? Well, some of the startups here in Hong Kong, they have a Greater China strategy or they have a, a Greater Bay Area strategy. So, you know, Hong Kong integrating more with Shenzhen and Southern China. And uh, this is kind of a stepping stone for them to expand in the region. And Hong Kong has always been a very good hub. Uh, and I think it's become a startup capital as well because of the energy that has gone into creating a startup ecosystem here in Hong Kong with places like uh, Cyberport and the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park and all the incubators and accelerators that are here uh, in the co-working spaces that are here. So you're starting to see some unicorns from China, from Hong Kong, like Since Time, and DJI and uh, We Lab and GoGo Van and a few others as well that I, I probably shouldn't have missed, but <laughs> sorry if I did. Um, well, that could be the content in your next book, right? <laughs> yeah. Tech Titans of Hong Kong. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 
where do you where do you see this all going? I mean, you know, you travel around the world, especially now with your your new book, yeah. and you're getting people asking you questions about you know technology and technology in China, technology in the US. Yeah. Where you know you obviously have access to a lot yeah, of the entrepreneurs in your book. There's lots of great interviews with the entrepreneurs, and you followed their careers as well as the venture capitalists who support all of that. Um, where where do you see it all going in terms of on a, on a global scale? Is it is it really moving apart, or do you see it, you know, on the surface it is, and below it it's not? Um, where are, where are the streams of energy going? Yeah, well, look, um, China and the U.S. are the two main drivers uh, of the tech economy globally. Uh, any way you look at it, it's the U.S. and China competing, or they're, they're the two giants. Uh, and I do see now uh, that they are starting to break apart uh, with this tech cold war happening uh, and uh, the security issues around that uh, and the uh, regulations uh, from Washington DC on Chinese investments in the US and, and also on venture capital investment. So now we're seeing this parallel universe develop and I think um, that's going to continue uh, as long as this tech cold war continues, and I don't see I don't see an end in sight. I think the Chinese uh, ambition uh, to dominate many tech sectors is really unstoppable. Uh, no matter what happens with the trade war or the tech cold war, uh, it's going to keep going. And in your book, you, you, you do address various elements of the tech industry because it's now becoming yeah. very specialized, right? There's med That's tech, edu tech, etc. That's true. Uh, China, the way I see it is that China is really ahead of the game when it comes to commerce and social commerce and right. video streaming and all this. And Alibaba sure. and uh, Shuangxi, the November 11th kind of double singles thing has really kind of cracked it in terms of volume and habits. Yeah. Where where do you see in where do you see this kind of the whole era of AI? Do you think this really is a battleground, or is it a myth, or do you see this requiring a lot of uh, collaboration? Because I understand from my my, my uh, low level understanding, it's about you know data and machine learning. It requires yeah. a lot of different skill sets. It does, uh, and the U.S. still has the lead in R and D for AI. Uh, you know, but China is implementing faster, uh, and that's partly because there are fewer data privacy concerns in China. So it's getting into fintech and education, and healthcare, and surveillance, and uh, you know, uh, all kinds of uh, market sectors today. So AI is uh, really become part of the whole society and culture in, in China today. So you have facial recognition, and space recognition. Uh, you know that just recording everything you're doing uh, when you're in China. So uh, look, uh, the AI uh, race, if you want to call it a race, is definitely China getting ahead and implementing it, and that actually could um, create um, you know more um, more rivalry, I think, uh, between the U.S. and China. In this very important, you know, AI is a foundational technology. It impacts a lot of other sectors. So. It, it's a very important center. Great, time is up, but we've got two plugs. Eight, five, two. Eight minutes, five questions, and two plugs. What do you want to plug? Oh, sure. Well, of course, my new book, Tech Titans of China, which just published, and I- Where is it available? Well, here in Hong Kong, it's available at Bookazine Bookstore, and also on Amazon, of course. If you're in London, it's at Primrose Books. If you're in Singapore, it's at a bookstore, Konakoya. I hope I'm pronouncing that Kinokuniya. right. Kinokuniya. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Uh, okay. that's it. Next um, plug, next plug. Okay, uh, please come to Silicon Dragon event. Uh, to learn how the venture capital landscape works and meet all the startups that they're investing in. That's going to be happening during the week of Hong Kong Start Me Up. Uh, so stay tuned for February uh, 2020. And people can sign up uh, for your newsletter, right, on your website. Can yes. you give us the domain name? Sure, silicondragonventures.com. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.